So Kaka is a support unit, meaning her intended purpose is to either A, give bonuses to her allies, or B, put enemies in a position that makes them easier to defeat. So Kaku primarily does the former, but the massive range on her attacks does tend to group up enemies if aimed properly. So Kaku's EX special, ultimate, and chain attack give her a stack of Vortex, which can be consumed at three stacks by triggering the Fly the Flag attack, which occurs at the end of her charge special, her ultimate, and her chain attack. After Fly the Flag, Sokaku gains the Frosted Banner state, and immediately triggers a quick assist that allows her to transfer it to another ally. Frosted Banner is also transferred to the next ally in a chain attack, but only off of Sokaku, which means you should always switch off of Sokaku to your DPS if possible. While Frosted Banner causes Sokaku to deal increased ice damage on her basic and dash attacks, it also increases the buffed character's attack by up to 40% of Sokaku's attack at max level, capping off at plus 1000. This buff can be triggered on Fly the Flag without full Vortex stacks, but its effect is reduced by half. Burning Vortex stacks also gives her entire team a 20% ice buff so long as there's another character on it that shares a faction or element with her. Because her buffs scale off of her own attack stat, you want to prioritize increasing it with drive discs. The team-wide damage buff from Swing Jazz makes it the ideal set bonus, paired with two pieces of Hormone Punk to increase her attack further. Best in slot is her signature W engine, Bashful Demon, yet again because of its team-wide damage buff. Because of the elemental damage buff from her additional passive, she pairs incredibly well with Lycon and Ellen, but the attack buff from Frosted Banner still allows her to perform well without an ice DPS. If you're interested in seeing more Zenless Zone Zero content in the future, please subscribe. I want to sort of make a series of videos like this just explaining the mechanics of characters in the game because I've been seeing a lot of content on how to build characters, how to build teams, but not too much on how to actually play the characters, which can definitely increase your enjoyment of the game overall. Yet again, if you want to see more, please subscribe. You can comment which character you want me to talk about next. It'll probably be Nicole, sure, but uh, unless I get like a lot of requests for something else. So yes, that's all. Uh, goodbye.